Today, I will talk about an official tool from Microsoft, which lets you boost your PC. And this tool is called PC Manager. Now, this tool was released almost a year ago, but since then it got many updates. So if you are interested in boosting your PC, make sure that you watch until the end. So what will you need to have to install this PC Manager from Microsoft? And apparently on this website, it says Windows 10 with the version 1809 and above or Windows 11. So if you have that, then you can also proceed with the clicking on that download button. So after you successfully installed this application, you should see this screen and also this icon down below here in your system tray. So if I start right now from the top to the bottom. So if I click here on this gear icon and then we can click on the settings, you have three options here basically. So start PC manager automatically when I sign into Windows and also auto update PC manager. Down below, we also have manually check for updates button. So if you want, you can also manually check for updates for this program. So without out of the way, let's go to the client itself. So here we have temporary files. So there is currently 910 megabytes of that. And also memory usage is 61% right now. So if I click right now on the boost, this application will then boost my computer. So there is non-temporary files and the memory usage actually dropped to 36% right now. Here we also have health check. So if you want, you can also check for the health of your computer. So we have here items to clean up, for example, Windows cache, browser cache, temporary files, system logs, and we also can disable startup apps. So for example, if I check that, you will also see which apps will get disabled at startup as well. So if I click proceed, this will then take some actions and also health check actually completed right now. And every single thing was cleared here and also startup apps were disabled. Now, if I go back here, we also have storage management. So for example, we have deep cleanup here, manage large files, manage applications and storage sense. So both of those two options are inside the Windows settings, but here we have deep cleanup, for example. So if I click this, it will check for a few items to clean up. So for example, like DirectX, shader cache, fab cache and many other files as well. So down below, we also have manage large files. So you can also click here, view in file explorer, and this will show you the large files that you have on your computer. And you can also delete them if you want to. If I go back, you can also go here to the process management and you can also see which processes are currently running. So if I go back, you can also go here to the startup applications before actually checked to turn off Microsoft OneDrive and also Windows security notification. So you also have these options here as well. With the cleanup tab complete, we can also go right now to the security tab. So if you have, for example, Microsoft Defender installed, you can also then check for the security threats on your computer. And this is basically it for this version of PC Manager. But right now let's talk about another version of PC Manager, which is apparently in the version 3.0. This version right now, which I have installed is in public beta. And if I go here to the settings, you can also see the version 1.2.4 and everybody can basically download this version. So let me show you how you can actually get this version as well. And we can search for the PC manager 3.0 click on the enter. And if I scroll down, you can also go to this um, website called Microsoft PC Manager 3.0 beta from neovin.net, which I will also put a link in video description down for. So if I scroll down, you can also click here, download link. So if I click on Microsoft PC Manager beta, this will start downloading this exe file. And if I open it right now and click on run, then we can also click here, install. And right now it will install this new version of the PC Manager from Microsoft. So after you successfully installed this brand new Microsoft PC Manager 3.0, you can also see here that we have some other tweaks to this Microsoft PC Manager. So for example, from the previous version, the gear icon was at the top, but right now is at the bottom left space. But keep in mind that I did not uninstall the previous installation of PC Manager, just the previous installation was then upgraded to this 3.2.1 version of this PC Manager. So 
yeah, it was just upgraded right now. So if I go through this app right now, we have a lot more options to pick from. So for example, we have here home, we can also boost your computer, but here we also have a brand new animation. Then we also have health check, process, deep cleanup, and the startup. If I go here to the settings right now, you have also smart boost option in the settings. So PC manager will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or there are one gigabytes of temporary files. So if I enable this, this uh, program will then um, automatically boost my PC. Then we also have shortcut settings and down below we have early access. So get early access to experience the latest features, which we can also turn on. Then we have start PC manager when I sign into Windows, which is the same option that we saw in the previous version of this app. And also auto update PC manager is also here. Now, if I go home and let's go to the protection, we can also scan this computer. So if I go back here, we also have taskbar repair. So if you have some items to be repaired in the taskbar, you can also do that with this updated tool. Then we also have restored default apps. So we have get office for office documents, web pages, we can use edge and also PDF documents. We can also use edge. If we go to the storage, we also have deep cleanup as we saw before in the previous version of this app and also manage large files. Then if I go to the apps, we have currently here process management. We have three processes currently running. So widgets, widget service and Microsoft Edge. We can also end them all here. So if I go here to the startup apps, so there is none currently on the startup. And uh, here we also have a brand new menu option, which is called toolbox. So enable access to toolbar on desktop. So if I click here, enable, we have the this brand new widget on our desktop. So here we have Windows tools, for example, screenshot is here. Then we have screenshot folder, recorder, captions, notepad, and also then we have web tools like Edge Quick Links, Bing Translator, Currency Converter, and so and so on. Then we have custom links, which you can also add. For example, here is currently set on Bing and MSN, but we can also add a link, for example, www.google.com. Then we can also add this to have Google in the custom links section. So then we can also, for example, click on the Edge Quick Links. We have here Google, and then it will redirect you to the Google. If I click this on the same option here, we also have here Google, Office, and Open Edge. So if you press Google, it will open Google in the Microsoft Edge. Then if I click here on the Notepad, then it can open the Notepad itself. And also this Screenshot tool, it will open the Screenshot tool. So it's really cool that this widget actually lives on your desktop like so. Then if you go here to the settings, you can also here hide this toolbar or add even more tools. For example, we can add, let's say, captions and then let's add the Bing translator as well. So in this toolbar right now, you can also go here to the captions and enable captions on Windows. And also for the Bing translator, it will open Bing translator in your default web browser or in Microsoft Edge. And here we also have this boost icon. So you can also boost your computer from this widget as well, which I also think it's quite handy to have on the reach of just one click, right? So yeah, this is basically this widget and this tool, Microsoft PC Manager. So let me know in the comment section if you actually downloaded this tool and tried it out and let me know what you think about it. So with that said, this is pretty much it for this video and how to boost your PC. All the required links are linked in video description down below, right below the like button. And also if you are new here, subscribe to this channel would really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.